What's up guys, Architect here. Today we're going to be talking about one of my most asked questions, which is how do you get started in DCS multiplayer? How do you do the radio stuff like that? So we're going to be showing you guys how to install simple radio standalone today and get that set up so that you're able to join those servers and communicate with the rest of us while you're doing that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to dcssimpleradio.com. I will post a link in the description and you're going to open it up. You'll see this page right here. You're just going to go to download latest release. Uh, you'll see the release here and you're just going to download this zip folder here now once you've downloaded that zip folder you can go ahead and extract that into any folder that you'd like and once you've extracted it you'll get a folder that looks like this all you're gonna do is uh, you're just gonna simply run the client radio and once you open it, you'll get a little something that looks like this. So what you'll want to do is you'll just want to come here. There's a few settings you'll want to turn on. Um, one of them being the uh, auto connect. You'll want to make sure that's on. Uh, there's a couple other ones. If you have DCS installed on a drive other than your C drive, you'll want to make sure that you set the path for that. You can set a couple of other things if you want for selecting profiles, but we're not going to cover that today. Some of the controls you're going to want to put on are the radio switch works as push to talk. And depending on if you're using Viacom or some of those other plugins, um, you'll want to put always allow SRS hotkeys on. You either want to run always allow SRS hotkeys or allow in cockpit DCS control push to talk. And this is for modules like the F-14 uh, that have integration with SRS, but we're not really going to use that. I have other things like Viacom set up. So I have always allow SRS hotkeys set on. And you can go ahead and come down here. You can, uh, there's two different transmit start and end effects. You can choose, you know, that'll be a personal preference. But to get the cool radio sounds, you'll want to make sure the transmit and receive effects are uh, turned on. Uh, one of the other things you'll want to do is change what ears the different radios are coming out of. If you don't do this, sometimes it'll be real difficult for you to know what radio you're being talked to on. So this is an easy way of saying, hey, this radio is in my left ear, this radio is in my right ear, and you can easily tell uh, which radio to uh, respond on that way. Another thing you'll want to do uh, after making sure all of these settings are set is you'll want to just come over to the uh, controls page and you'll want to make sure that you have your different radios set up. Since we already set radio works as a push to talk, you don't need to have a push to talk set unless you are wanting to have it where your mic button will switch to that radio when you have a separate push to talk to then talk on that radio most people will probably want to just run it where the radio switch works as that push to talk and uh let's go ahead and open it up in dcs and take a look at what that looks like from the cockpit all right now we are in the cockpit uh we got our apu running got our SRS client up and our radios are on so one of the things you can do uh, if you're unsure if it's set up correctly is you can come over here to toggle radio overlay this will give you a way of changing frequencies in certain aircraft uh, if you don't have a way of setting it in the cockpit some aircraft have a couple of extra radios provided by SRS for uh, multiplayer use but you can see here with the lights, if we start transmitting on one of them, you can see the light turns green for our different radios. And we've also got our transponder. So now that we know we have this set up correctly and transmitting, you are ready to start talking on SRS. I'll be doing more future videos on actual radio communications in DCS multiplayer. So keep an eye out for those. Now that we know our radios are working correctly and transmitting, you can hear the tone uh, for the transmission. Uh, you are ready to go hop on a multiplayer server and start using those radios. Uh, you can see here as well, if I change frequencies, you can see it changes it in here on SRS, allowing you to use the aircraft radios as they would be in real life but thank you so much everybody for watching uh, we'll be coming out with uh, some more stuff on how to apply those radios and use them in a multiplayer environment soon 
You guys be safe out there. I'm Architect, and I'll catch you in the next one.